Hello, my friends. How you doing? It's Katie Rubin, your friendly neighborhood modern mystic, energy healer, divine light channel, psychic woo-woo comedian. Normal combination of qualities for one human to have, wouldn't you say? I'm here today with your three-card spread. Very excited and uh, sort of... Um, I don't know what the word is, curious to share this with you today. This is an interesting one. Um, I was just 40 seconds before I pulled these cards for you guys. I was uh, looking at the, the current astrology and we're heading into a Mercury retrograde in September. But the shadow portion of the Mercury retrograde starts, as you know, a couple weeks before the actual Mercury retrograde. So that shadow portion starts around the 6th of September. And so it's going to get a little backwardsy again, uh, for those of you who are tapped into the astrological realms. Um, I want to just give a tiny, on this point, a positive pitch here for <sighs> the more spiritually connected you get, the more your life starts to function beyond even the effects of astrology. So astrology, if you're not familiar, or if you are, here's a little more info on it. It's it's the it's the push and pull of the tides of the moon. It's the push and pull of the energetic closeness of the planets. In the same way that if you go to a restaurant, right, and you're energetically sensitive or aware, like you are, empathic, creative, aware of stuff, feel things deeply, you're going to notice the loud talkers to your right and the guys who smell like cigarettes to your left. And not that cigarettes are bad, but just to say, like, I'm not judging cigarette smoking, but like, if you don't smoke and somebody does, you'll smell it next to you. And maybe like weird bad vibes from an argument happening at the table behind you. And then like these two are in love and you can see that and you can feel it. And now that's you in a restaurant aware of what's happening around you. Okay. Similarly, we are on a rock called Earth that is around a bunch of planets in the restaurant of the universe. So when the planets are doing stuff, it's not that like you're a victim to astrology and astrology is bigger than you and you need to disempower yourself to astrology. But... It's happening. And so when we look at astrological influences, we're acknowledging what's happening. That's all we're doing. So no, you don't need to be a victim to it. But yes, you do want to sometimes, in my point of view, acknowledge that it's occurring so you don't feel so crazy when all of a sudden you're like, why does it feel like there's this Libra vibe around? It's like, because Libra shit's happening, for example. Okay, so given that we're going to enter that Mercury retrograde in a couple days here, not yet. This, these three cards I just pulled for you make uh, some sense to me, but also I want to, let's frame it in the way that the gorgeous, stunning, powerful Colette Baron Reed has framed it for us. So in the recent past position, here we are again with this metamorphosis card. If you guys watch me do these regularly over time, you'll start to be amazed the way I am. I I open the records for you guys. I pull three cards when, and I stop shuffling when they tell me to stop shuffling. Your guides, okay? This freaking card has been everywhere in these readings. Have you noticed? First it was in this position. Now it's in that position. Then it's in this position. So right now it's in the recent past position. Whereas I believe last week and the week before and the week before it was present in other positions. So it's moving through because you're moving forward. Isn't that cool? Okay, present moment, we have the Ride the Wave card. I'm not going to say anything about it. I just want to read what Colette says. And the outcome is the Deep Freeze card. So let's hear her framing of what all of this means. Recent past metamorphosis. <sighs> Butterflies earn their wings through great effort. The process of change is often painful. We've been talking about this week after week. For it's never without losses and sacrifices. If you are to transform from one form to another, a part of you needs to die. Letting go isn't easily easy, especially when you're getting used to thinking a certain way about your life and how you live it. Just as a snake sheds its dead skin or a caterpillar dies so that a butterfly can be born, you're required to release your old ideas and embrace a necessary change so you can live your best life. Perhaps you're being asked to let go of low self-worth, a dream that no longer serves you, a relationship that is draining, or unhealthy habits. Despite your fear... You must accept that this is a transformational time for you. There will be some loss involved, but you'll love what you become. 
You probably don't need to hear me say any more words about this because I've talked about this card so many times in recent memory. Check out all the past videos on YouTube, on my website, katierubin.com, on Facebook, on Instagram, on this very card. But just to highlight what I think is most important here, there will be some loss involved. But you'll love what you become. So many people, you guys, I work, I coach people, I run healing sessions with people, I lead healing classes, I do all the things helping the people all over the place all the time. The main thing people don't want to do is change, because <laughs> change includes loss, which means pain. And somehow we human beings have this idea that life can exist without pain, when in reality, Change is just uncomfortable, it just is. But it's also required if we're gonna get to live the lives we're each actually looking to live. When you want more than what you currently have, change is required. It's just how it is. So resisting it makes it hurt more. Going through the pain and knowing that on the other side of it, you're gonna love what you become makes it hurt less. All right, so the current moment we're in, after having done all this metamorphosizing, is we're in the ride the wave moment. Right now, success is easy and effortless. Oh my! You can be assured that you're entering a time when you can ride the wave of abundance. Hallelujah. The tide has turned and you can put your surfing skills to the test. Everything that you know, all your talents, coupled with your hopes and dreams, will carry you forward. People and circumstances have come out of the ocean of potential and possibility to take shape in a wave of spectacular activity. Know that you're definitely on the right path. Well, that's clarity. You're definitely on the right path. Support, synchronicity, people coming out of the woodwork to help you. That is this present moment we're in right now. Whee! Now the outcome. A little bit weird after that card. Here's our outcome card, or here's what's like around the corner in the near future. Everything has a season. Now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest, okay? Deep freeze. You see the frozen lion there? He's not doing stuff. He's not pushing forward. He's resting on top of a cold, cold, weird lake thing. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's time for regeneration and hibernation. Forgo ambitious activity, okay? A pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere, not needing to. This is also a time to put all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity now, so reflect, read a good book, or get a massage. Rest and dream. Now, let's pay close attention to this progression. We did a lot of work, we've changed, there's been loss involved, but we've, we're starting to love who we're becoming and we're starting to try at least to practice trusting that where we're headed is coming. Right now we're in an abundant flow, a river of light, all the things, all the support, everybody's there for you, magic and miracles. You're definitely on the right path, it says, definitely. When do you get anything definite in life? <laughs> Today, in the present moment. And then after that, Sort of like what I get spiritually, energetically, psychically from this read is like, yeah, be in it right now, be in the flow, create the things, follow the signs, it's all here, it's all abundant, and then psh, take it down a notch. Go inside, rest, don't push, don't shove, don't try, okay? But that's coming around the corner, not right now. Right now, you better ride that wave. You better get on your dolphin. Get on that dolphin, get on that wave. Ride that wave, dolphin. Dolphin, dolphin, ride wave, wave, dolphin, ride. You understand? Okay, on all these points, I think to support you, you would be wise to hop into Star Beings class with this bitch. We start today, 4 p.m. California time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's a two-hour class that meets for seven weeks in a row. I transmit the divine light frequencies of the star nations, the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Mintakans, the Arcturians, the Lemurians, the Lyrans, all kinds of woo-woo peeps. And boy, do we get activated Whew. This is, I call this a mid-level to advanced spiritual healing class. So if you've done any energy work before, you could join this class. If you're familiar with how to, like that you can transform and transmute energies through divine light, this is a good class for you. We start this evening, so email me at klrubin, R-U-B-I-N, at gmail.com if you're curious about the class. Seven weeks, 
the focus of this class is going to be stepping more fully into your soul purpose. So hop on in. It's going to be a deep, game-changing, intense ride. The work I do, you guys, the healing work, this is for when you're actually ready to really clear that heavy energy that's in your way and really activate your alignment with source. Um, this is not a class for people who, and my work is not work for people who are like, I don't know, I guess I'll try. I don't know if I believe it. I'll try. I mean, whatever. It's kind of Reiki. Is it Reiki? No, no. <laughs> it's a, it's a fire hose of light to transmute all the heaviness that you're carrying that makes it hard for you to move forward and be in alignment with the divine. This is like serious for real shit that is activating and potent. So if you're really ready to blow some stuff out of your system, join us for Star Beings. Another opportunity coming your way, September 18 and 19, which is a Saturday and Sunday, four hours each day. I'm leading a two-day class called Claim Your Key to Divine Knowing. This is for people who aren't sure, how do I get aligned spiritually? What is my personal spiritual path? I'm not into religion and I'm not even sure I'm into spirit stuff. But like if I personally had an alignment with something, what would that be? And I'm going to open the Akashic records of each person in class, find out your best and highest spiritual practice right now, because sometimes it changes. Often it changes. Change is the only constant. But in this class, we're going to get, okay, what is your thing right now? Not what is the whitewashed thing everyone should be doing, because I don't believe in that. What is your practice right now for you specifically in your life? That's September 18 and 19. If you have questions about that, email me at klrubin at gmail.com. <laughs> That's just a two-day class. Um, and then lastly, I'll be leading how Learn to Read the Akashic Records in October. We're going to do a level one and a level two. So if you've taken level one with me already, come for level two. If you haven't taken level one and you're looking for deeper spiritual alignment, a way to access divine guidance every day, and if you're curious about what the Akashic Records are, this is a perfect place to start. This is also a two-day workshop. This will be in October. Lastly, you can join me for a two-week sojourn through Egypt. Yeah, Egypt. Huh? Huh? November 14th to the end of the month, my dear friends Karen Lovelian and Fred Beauchart and I are leading a two-week retreat to Egypt. We're going to do spiritual healing activations in the um, king's chamber of the freaking Great Pyramid. We're going to be in a bunch of pyramids. We're going to do a cruise down the Nile. This is all for real in 3D reality. We're going to go to the Sphinx. We're going to be doing tons of healing activation work for the... Um, what are we calling it? The vibratory field of the planet, as well as for you and everyone in the collective of our tour. So klrubin at gmail.com if you have questions. And if you want to look specifically into the Egypt trip, check out solularclarity.com. S-O-U-L. You are. No, S-O-U-L. Soul. You learn. U-L-A-R clarity.com and click on tours all the info is there i love you breathe deep enjoy the wave you're on right now the tide of abundance is flowing and then get ready to kind of take it inside and go internal not quite yet but in a minute love ya